Uh, what's up, YouTube? So, if you haven't seen any videos from us in a while, uh, my computer pretty much died and I haven't been able to get a graphics card to fix it. So, the next best thing is going to be using a backup computer. I haven't been able to render much of anything on it, so you won't see very much content or flashiness on this video, so it's going to be pretty raw. Um, I was going to make a video yesterday, we tried to go out, but it was too rough. And uh, honestly, had three GoPros die on me and I did something I'm not proud of, but you know, they're old. The newest generation GoPro I have is a 4, so uh, <laughs> it's time for an upgrade. So Once I get a GPU, we'll get, uh, get, get rolling with the uh, content again. But I uh, wanted to show you what we do here. Um, setting up for an offshore trip, how we run our lines on a single engine center console. Uh, a lot of my friends have center consoles and they don't go out fishing for money or anything like that and they say, you know, I just don't have the space, I don't, don't, you know, I'm not very effective at it and I just wanted to show you a way that we do it that we found effective. Uh, maybe it's something that you can use, maybe not. We'll see. So, let me show you. Hey! Alright, so, you're driving the boat, you got your gaff handy here, or your gaff handy there, short versus long. And back here we're running five rods. One right here in the middle, going to a green stick. We got our rod holders numbered one and uh, one, two, three, and four based on port or starboard. So port sides even, four letters. Port even numbers, starboard is odd. So number one, two, three, and four. I got five and six back here. Again, six on the port side, five on the starboard side. I got seven and eight up forward. And then I got nine and ten. Okay, and zero is my long shot. Okay, that's my that's my green stick. Um, having everybody on the boat have the same terminology, the same plan, the same strategy is is how it's got to be. Especially in a small boat like this, you've got to have a plan. Um, if I say, you know, number three is going off clear number one, they got to know what clearing number one means. They need to know how to reel it up and put it somewhere. So generally our cleanup method is clear it and we'll have a, a bucket on either side. They'll clear it, pull the leader in, put it in the bucket and move them forward if we've got a big fish. If it's not a big fish, if it's something we can get in fairly simple, we'll get it in, flip it in the boat, leave everything else out because you don't want to miss the bite just because you're reeling in a fish. Uh, if it's something big, uh, like we got a marlin on, we're going to have to chase. Uh, a tuna that's going deep, uh, a swordfish that's that's really just really making big turns on you. Um, you need to clear the other lines just to get the headache out of the way. Uh, I've had I've had the tangle. I've tried. Uh, I can't figure it out. And I don't know that you really want to figure out any kind of way other than clearing the lines um, to get that done. Good example of what we're looking at here, zero being the shotgun all the way back. You're going to want to let these out uh, in order of furthest back to closest in. So if you look at here, you're going to let the shotgun out all the way back. And I like to use a, uh, a bird in front of a daisy chain or a squid chain or something big. Typically, this is going to be my largest, real largest uh, lure. And then I'm going to use uh, three and four for my next. Uh, and we're going to push that out all the way out to between the third and fourth wave. You want this riding on the front of the fourth wave, uh, not getting buried behind or too far in front. The closest two are going to be either a deep diver or something on a planer. Um, typically the darker colors are good, but I've been finding in the springtime the bright colors are great. So again, it's back to where you're going and uh, the, what the fish are hitting. So get out there and have some fun.